Welcome to Astaf Makawa's channel. If you're one of our subscribers and you've seen some of our latest videos, it's very likely that you saw the video where I installed the C6 Corvette wheels on the fiber. And I did mention on that video that I bought the wheels and tires used. Now, the wheels from a distance look nice and shiny. But, just like any other used wheel, when you get up close, there are some imperfections. So I just went to my local parts store and I picked up this chrome polish. It's made by Turtle Wax. I don't have any attachment to the brand whatsoever. It was just one of the items that was on the shelf. So I figured I'm going to give it a shot. And why not? Um, after I polish the wheel, I'm going to go ahead and apply this uh, tire shine that is uh, supposed to look wet and black. So we'll give it a shot, see how it looks once I polish the wheel and once I apply the wet and black. It's the first time I'm going to use this brand. I usually use the Meguiar's. So we'll see what happens. And what I'm going to be using to apply the polish is this power ball and a cordless drill. That way I'll be able to polish the wheels better than if I did it by hand. So let's check it out. See what happens. Okay, so getting closer to the wheel, you can see the imperfections right there. See how all this stuff that's on it is what needs to be removed. And just that's why I said, you know, if you look from a distance, they look shiny and then they look okay. But, you know, once you get up close like this, then you can see. So we're going to put this product to the test. Now the back wheels, that's a whole different story. The back wheels have been damaged. I'm not sure what kind of abrasives they used, but it looks like they destroyed the chrome surface. I'm going to try that product, but I'm not very sure that it's going to do much for it. Because I don't think they knew what they were doing when they cleaned them. and they ruined the surface but we'll give it a shot too see what happens so like I said we're gonna put this product to the test see how good it is I'm gonna apply a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and polish it with the wheel there's a difference. It definitely looks a lot better, a lot shinier. Most of the imperfections are gone. Now it really looks smooth. The only thing that didn't remove was like the rock chips. You know, some of them are chips from rocks hitting the wheel, so that didn't go away. But all the other imperfections are gone. So I'm going to go ahead and polish the whole wheel, and then I'll apply the tire wet and see how it looks. I finished polishing the wheel. I wiped the excess down with the towel, and I applied this tire shine on. What I noticed about this particular brand of tire shine uh, compared to the one that I've been using, which is the Meguiar's Hot Shine, is that this one goes on clear and it doesn't leave any streaks. Uh, when I applied this on, it went on as a foam and then it became clear, but it's leaving some streaks. I'm going to go ahead and aim the camera up close so you can see it before I wipe the excess down. So this is what I meant about the streaks, not too thrilled about that. 
and to show you what I meant about going on foam, you know, as a foam. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply some. See how it goes in as a foam and then it dries up. So not too thrill about it because this brand goes on clear so we're gonna use that on the rear wheel instead and see the difference so what I'm gonna have to do now on the front is I'm gonna have to wipe the excess with a towel to give it a better look so not too so far not too excited about having to do it twice I should have just sprayed it on and leave it on Okay, so if I wipe down the excess, it gives it a nice wet look. So overall, it looks good. Looks definitely even better from a distance. So when it comes to the front wheel, it doesn't just appear to be shiny anymore. It is shiny. So I'm going to go ahead and try the rear wheels, but it's very possible that it's not going to give me the same results. The only thing I'm going to do different, I'm going to use the other tire shine that I have better results with. So I'm going to move on to the rear wheel. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try the try this wheel, like I said. See what happens. So, very slight improvement, and like I said, mostly it's because the chrome got ruined. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and polish the whole thing, and I'm gonna apply the other brand of tire shine and see what the look is, knowing that the previous owner of the wheels damaged the chrome, basically. But we're gonna see by the time it's polished and the tire has dressing, see how much it helps it to try to shift the focus from the lack of shine off the wheel to the overall look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and polish the whole thing and then and apply the tire shine. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and apply the other brand of Tire Shine and see how it looks.
See, this one goes on clear, like I mentioned before. It doesn't go in a, it doesn't go on a foam like the full wax brand. So there's that. Just wipe down the a little bit that I got on the wheel. Camera up close to see how it looks. So, this is the look. You know, the wheel still looks shiny even though the chrome got damaged, like I said with the previous owner. The McGuire's Hot Shine tire shine doesn't leave the streaks that the other one did, so I don't have to wipe it down or nothing, just pretty much spray it and go. So I like that better. This is not a product review of any kind. You know, usually when I buy something, I try it. If I like it, I continue using it. If I don't, I, I won't. So let's look at the front again. Okay, so because I wiped down the tire to wipe down the excess of tire shine from the turtle wax, it actually looks dull. It doesn't look as shiny as the rear wheel. Obviously I'm going to keep using the McGuire's instead of the Total Wax for a better look. So there you go. If you were curious about what products to use to polish your chrome wheels, especially C6 Corvette wheels, like the ones on this car, now you have a sample of the products to use. So, like I said, this one did okay. It's very likely that other brands will be probably just as good. Like I said, it wasn't so much about brands. However, even though mentioning brands is never the goal versus the goal itself to improve the appearance and performance of all the vehicles, but with that in mind, it's very unlikely that we'll use this brand of tire shine because of the streaks and because I have to wipe it off. So I will have to stay, so I will continue to use the hot shine instead. That's just going to be my personal choice. But if you were curious of which one of the two you would to use on your car, now you can see the difference. So overall, the looks still okay. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time.